everyone. It's Lisa. Happy Friday to you. I hope you have had a wonderful week and I hope that you are having wonderful weather and summer is now beginning. Today is my kids last day of school and I'm getting ready to go to Brooks fifth grade ceremony and um, so I'm going to do this video real quick before I go. It's like 7 30 a.m. Right two, right now. Gosh two or three. I got three of my swap packages this week and so I'm going to do those first and I will try to go through real quick. Louise from Wales sent me a wonderful package and I have been using her stuff because I got it, I think last Saturday. Um, she sent me this Shea Body Butter. I used it last night and I have never used anything like this. It was so thick. Um, I know you can't see it because of the light, but I loved it. It reminded me of the Cetaphil cream. So I love that. Um, this I have to say was the star of the package. Now she is the one that told me about the Chanel beige lip liner and so we did our swap and everything and she sent this to me and said this is one of her favorites and it is the infamous Dior Amber Diamond. I have gone to buy this I don't know how many times and either talked myself out of it or it wasn't available and here it is and it is I can honestly say worth every bit of the hype. I'm just over the moon about this, and she said that the rose one is even better. She said she's used it for years, so um, I've got it on today, and I think I've had it on in every video this week. I've worn it every day. Um, actually, I was watching T.T. Sandra, and she was saying it was her favorite, and I told her that she had pushed me over the edge. I was going to get it, and I called, and they were out of it, and then I went back last Friday, and they were still out of it, so it was just a big coincidence, and I love it. Um, she sent me a Dream Touch blush from Maybelline. It's a beautiful peach color. I used this the other day. She said maybe it would be good for a highlight, and it was um, because it's real light, but it also made my blush stick to it real well. Um, a beautiful Maybelline number 602 beige rose. She said that she likes to put this over the Clarins nude with the beige lip liner, I believe. Or no, she used a brown lip liner, and so I used my brown lip liner, and I love it. It's a beautiful color, and um, I'm going to try not to do too many swatches so I don't take too long. Um, she sent me a bunch of just wonderful samples, all kinds of Chanel stuff that I haven't tried. She sent me some pins, which I believe these are probably for my kids. They'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to fight over those. Um, she sent me the OPI. Um, up front and personal nail polish which I love this goes so good over everything um, this is really neat it was prescriptives it's so cute look at that it's called sheer exhilaration and it's in different flavors like I looked it up and there was like three of them and I believe this one is guava and it's like a juicy tube and um, I think they have the scent, they taste like guava, but have the scent of their fragrance, so haven't used that yet. Um, she sent me another one of her favorites, which is MAC Politely Pink. After I saw this package, I realized we liked a lot of the same stuff, so I ended up sending her a few more things. I sent those off yesterday. And this is a beautiful, just a beigey, frosty, pink. I see politely pink in a lot of celebrity favorites. Uh, 501 Intermezzo Chanel nail polish that I had on in my last video. So she just sent me a bunch of good stuff. So thank you Louise and I did send you another package out yesterday. Yeah. This, the Cow Shed Knackered Cow Relaxing Body Lotion. I haven't used this yet but I thought that was yeah, cute. Get this. She also sent me these. Look at this necklace. This is the black I was talking about. This is going to look so good with my... Remember when I was saying I liked wearing this with like just a casual gray t-shirt? So I just love those. And for those of you that live over there, this is the brand. So thanks again, Louise. Really. Tanya in Singapore. I believe I mentioned last week I picked her up the Dior Healthy Matte Bronzer. And she also wanted the um, Corez Eye cream, which I plan on maybe trying that because it looked like it was good, but she, like I said, lives in Singapore, so I thought I would ask her to send me some of the BB cream. Now, as impatient as I am, I went ahead and I ordered this one from Amazon, 
and it did come from Korea. I ordered it from, I cannot remember, the Sonia sent me her package. She sent me this BB cream, and I compared this one to this one, and they were exactly the same. So I do think that you can get, you know, um, authentic BB cream off of Amazon. You just need to go to a good seller, and I think the fact that it was from Korea, you know, helps out a little bit. But um, so Tanya sent me a backup of this, which I love. I have just loved this stuff, and I've got a video on it. Um, I, I think last week, so it's wonderful. Package. Stuff. She also sent me some goodies um, from Metalli Accessories. This really cool bracelet. I just think that is so neat. Look at all the different chains. And she sent me these earrings. They are so light. I love, I love funky earrings. <laughs> and then she sent me these, which I love. This is different than anything I have, and this is going to go good with um, when I wear my little brown cargo shorts. I'm going to wear these. So thank you so much, Tanya. I have enjoyed swapping with you, and I hope we do it again. Go quick. I'm running out of time. Picked up a Fix Plus from MAC this week, just the regular. I really like the scented ones, like the lavender and the rose, so I'm hoping I can find those at the CCO this summer. But I picked that up. Um, I did order, I read in my latest Marie Claire, they were talking about how um, the Korean and Asian market was about six years ahead of us in beauty and skincare. And they mentioned the BB cream, so I ordered the one they mentioned. little teeny tiny package from... Um, South Korea, and it is very authentic, so authentic it doesn't even have any English writing on it, but it is the Misha Cho Bo Yang, I think, and I will do a review on this, but I can say right offhand I love it. It's a little bit thicker and a little bit more coverage than the Skin 79 and not quite as gray, but I still love it. It's um, This is supposed to be more for aging skin, so if you look it up, you can see um, the differences, but so love that, and I've got my Bobbi Brown over that today. Um, I bought this week the Princess Buxom Lips. Gina has been telling me about this forever, and I was in there, and I picked it up, and it's beautiful. It is not this cheesy looking when you put it on. It makes a beautiful lip just right by itself, and she likes to use it over the next thing I'm going to show you. But um, it's just a beautiful, I love these books and lip glosses. Ordered the infamous Playing Koi lipstick. Bonnie, Love Style, Beauty, and Gina just love this lipstick. And I've got it on today, and I can say I have on very Gina lips. But um, this is the color, and I've got some lip liner on it. But it is a very, I believe on one of the eBay descriptions, it was a white peach pink and that's pretty much it. It's very very nude but today I used it with the Catrice Nude Rose and um, Flora Abundance over it and I'm going to experiment with it some because her other favorite lip liner to use it with is the Lee Swatier Coral and I did a swap with my friend Bridget that lives in Canada. She wanted one of the Dillard's long chains, so I picked that up for her and a few more things, and she sent me this package. She sent me the uh, Lee Swatche Nude, which is an awesome, um, I love the mauve lavender tone nudes. I already used that. And then she sent me the Coral, which I'm sure I will be wearing. Gina said it goes real good with this lipstick. The Annabelle Demure, this is the one that Juicy Tuesday loves so much, it's a really good nude. And then um, she sent me one of her favorites, which is the G132 Nude Blush Maybelline. And I wore this yesterday. It's really pretty, really um, slick and glossy and a real good nude. So thank you so much, Bridget. I know that her and I will do some more shots okay, in the future. I went out to... Oh, I went with my mom to see my grandmother, and we stopped at Walgreens, and I found the last bottle there of the Barracuda, and I have this on my toes today, and it is gorgeous, and hopefully I'll be able to take a picture and show you how pretty it looks, because it, it is different gorgeous. than the Shrek Polish um, Catitude. It's a little bit more, pow a little bit more subtle, a little bit more powder pink. I told Gina, I think it's like the... Um, the OPI Polish Mod About You, it's like the little pale version, blue version of that, but it's 
much easier to apply. The first coat goes on a little streaky, but the second coat just works beautifully. So I just love that. And I picked this up. I have looked at this. I think this was the third time I'd looked at it, and I went ahead and grabbed it because I think it's so pretty, and it'll look good on toes. It's the Revlon Top Speed Windfall. I just think that is the coolest green color. It would really look good with brown. Then, this is the third time I've bought this. The other two I sent off in swap packages. I have this on today, and it is the Wet n Wild Silent Treatment. It's the little trio that uh, Gina, this is going to be all about Gina video, something about Gina video. <laughs> um, but I have this on today, and I love it. The colors just looked really nice, and I thought, well, I'm going to give this a try. It was like $2.99. And I can honestly say I put it on, it. so we'll see how well it wears today. But it's very, very pretty. And um, like I said, it's $2.99, so that was worth it. Ulta this week, I had some of those points. I love if I hope that all of you will eventually get on that system. Instead of having to pick perfumes, I get it where you get up to points and you get X amount off of your purchase. Well, I had gotten up to, I can't remember how much off, but I went and picked this lipstick up. It's the Smashbox Pout, and it looks scary in the tube, but it's really sheer, a really pretty sheer pink. And I've heard a lot of people say it was their favorite, so I grabbed that. And I think that is all for makeup. I'll be right back with my shoes galore yeah, haul. You guys know that I love my Haviana flip-flops. I went, I guess it was the day I was shopping for Brooke for her little dance dresses and I ended up getting her a little pair of reef with um she has them on today or I'd show you they got to wear flip-flops on their last day of school but they are the prettiest little black reef flip-flops with a little teeny zebra strap and I ended up getting a pair of reefs for myself that had a real pretty corally metallic strap and I just did not care for them they were much more of a fitted soft flip-flop with more arch support which I understand that a lot of people like that better and I ended up giving those to my mom. They looked so good on her foot. And they reefs run a little bit small. So they were perfect for my mom because she's kind of in between a 7.5 and, and an 8. And I'm usually a true 8. So um, I did pick up just plain black. You can see my toe prints are already in there. I picked up the plain black Javianas. And I love them. You can see they have kind of like a black metallic -y strap. And these are just my favorite flip-flops. But I will say, these are the kind that kind of flop around on your foot. They don't fit real snug. And they're a little bit harder than, like, the Sinook and the Reefs. And that's just what I happen to like. So, this is pick a funny that story. Job. I went in um, Belks. I was in there with the kids that night and talking to my friend, Arana, that works in Belks. And I was looking at these shoes, and she said, I just got those the other day. She said, I wanted the silver ones. And I said, well, I think I got the silver ones last year. And we talked and we, you know, realized we wore the same size. And so we ended up trading. I brought those to her the next day. And mine were actually more of like a taupe color. And I liked them, but I did not wear them as much as I think I will wear the black ones. So, and she already had so many black shoes. So we switched. We swapped shoes. And so I got these. And I've already worn them once. And I loved them. They're just really comfortable shoes. And I believe these are on sale right now at Belk's. So I grabbed those because those will be good for a lot of things. I've worn them with um, my white jeans and they look real good. shoes I have looked at since the spring. I saw them when I actually went in that boutique and got my Stuart Weitzman that I ended up taking back. But these were on sale for like half price. Let's see, here's my receipt. They were regularly, um, I got them for $53.99 and I think they were regularly, um, yeah, 109. And they are the soft brand, which is so comfortable. And they have really stepped up their game, as in, in sexy shoes. These are just a beautiful shoe. And I love that they have a regular heel, not a wedge. Because sometimes in jeans, I like to wear a regular heel. And I just think they're beautiful. Very, very sexy on because they blend right in with your foot. And then they go up around your ankle. And just... Soft shoes are just known for comfort. So if you were looking for some sexy shoes that are comfortable, this is it. And I'm sure you can, I know you can get them on Zappos. I love patent leather shoes. And these are the sand 
patents are, I was out of my mind shoes. These shoes I have seen, been looking at, I haven't been looking at them, but I see them every time I go in Belks and look at shoes, and I just think, oh, those are the most gorgeous shoes, but I can never wear those. Well, I finally, they went on sale, and then they had an additional, I think, 20% off, and I went ahead and got them, and I just think they are gorgeous. John loves them, and I'm just going to have to be careful in them. But, and they aren't, when you put them on, matter of fact, I came home and I looked them up on Piper Lime and read the reviews, and they got just great reviews as far as comfort, so I went back and got them, and I just love them. Aren't they beautiful? They are BCB, BCBG G generation, I don't know how you say that, but here's um, the name. And I did get an eight and a half, I tried on the eight and an eight and a half, and the way the toe is very, very curved, I went ahead and got an eight and a half. In other BCBG, like the little snakeskin ones I got, I wear an eight. So I would try to try them on, um, but they're just gorgeous. I just love the color. The last pair of shoes, I promise. And if you were thinking, what in the world is she doing with all those shoes? I, last year, I don't know if you remember, but I bought a bunch of beautiful flats. And I wore them a lot, and I wore flip-flops most of the time. And this year, I just... I, you know, I got started wearing those um, Nine West shoes and the Cynthia Vincent shoes I got at Target, and I just got so many compliments on those shoes. And I just realized that shoes really make an outfit, and they really, you know, that's what people really pay attention to. And, you know, I'm into this whole, you know, live life to the fullest phase of my life, and I just thought about it, and I thought, you know, I'm going to have plenty of time in the future to wear flip-flops every day and I'm going to have plenty of time to wear those pretty flat shoes. But right now, while I can, I'm going to wear the sexiest, highest heel shoes that I want to or feel like wearing that day. And a lot of times, especially if I go out with the family and I'm with John, I really like dressing up. And, um, you know, it's just, it's we're only gone for a couple hours, and I really like wearing shoes like this. So that's the reason, and most of these I got on sale. So that's that. And speaking of sale, these were in the clearance section and they had an extra 30 percent off of clearance and they are not comfortable but i got them because they are gorgeous and they're michael kors and they are an espadrille and i just think they are gorgeous i love that it's black and tan with a brown strap so they'll go you know with just anything and i love the print on the inside the only thing that's not comfortable is this is really hard so they did give me she gave me two sets of these to put in the toe box area. So I just love them. They are just gorgeous shoes, and I can't wait to show them to you in an outfit of the day. Tell you, I've got to tell you my savings. So on those two pair of shoes, um, let's see, the um, beautiful BCB Generation shoes ended up being um, $63.99. And then these Michael Kors shoes ended up being $47, regularly $135. So you just can't beat that deal. So if you live near a belt, you might want to go check this but out. But certainly not least, yesterday um, I came home, Brooke and I and the kids came home, and um, there was a box in the garage, which is always exciting. And it was a Saks box, which has Rhonda's name written all over it, and she had sent me a surprise gift, and it's just awesome. And uh, in it was this beach bag, which Carlton at Saks hooked me up with. A sweetheart, and I love it. I hope you can see the colors. It's a beautiful pink and peach with the rope handle, and I just love it. I could use this for a purse. And in it was a fabulous bag of samples, all kinds of good stuff. The Angel, just some really neat stuff. And it also has a Bobbi Brown tinted moisturizer sample in it that I'm anxious to try. Some Bond number no. nine samples, and having that special go on. So she got me the Coney Island. Oh, and I love it. I have this on today. This is an also a beachy summer scent. I just had somebody tell me that they got this with the scent of peace and mixed it, and how wonderful it is. And they are so right. I've got it on today, and it is the just. It just makes me so happy to smell. Bryant Park which has the most beautiful bottle. Wait till you see this bottle. Is that not gorgeous? I love it. So, it's kind of sporty, chic looking. And this is just a neat scent. I believe it's rose with amber and patchouli. I'll put it down here if I'm wrong, but I read all about them last night because I love 
just learning about the different scents and you know how to mix them and you know which ones are summer and all that kind of good the stuff. fire island which is the one that smells like the bobby brown beach and it's just gorgeous look at that beautiful yellow bottle i'm getting ready to redo my dresser and put all of my bond number nine scents out so when i do i will do a collection video and show you my collection but this is i promise next week i'm going to do a video this is the most beautiful scent ever if you like this the smell of the beach of suntan lotion it is just the best i might even put a little squirt on with it of with the coney island of this on today but i love it so thank you so much rhonda you are just an angel an angel and um so i'm going to be right back with my outfit of the day so i can get out of here today i have on just this maxi dress that i got at new york and company and this is a scarf that I also got this week at New York and Company. I got it when I was getting the teacher's gift and it was half off and it's just, I love the colors in it. And um, I've got on my nine, I believe they're nine west. Um, no, they're Steve Madden. I've got on my Steve Madden black espadrilles, which I think are just gorgeous shoes. And let's see, get some more views. <laughs> For accessories, I have on these beautiful sparkly rose gold earrings that one of my subscribers sent me. And no rings, no ring, no bracelet. Um, my blush fossil aluminum watch that Rhonda sent me. Um, the scarf, what I wanted to tell you is when you're going to like a school event, church, um, I've done this when I've been to the nursing home. Anytime I'm wearing something that might be a little, you know, low cut, um, you know, even if it doesn't show too much, just it's showing so much skin, that is a wonderful time to throw on a scarf because, for one thing, it keeps me warm and it, you know, you know what I mean, makes everything better. So, um, I guess that's it and I will see you guys uh, maybe this weekend, definitely next week and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.